We are back just in time for the opening break. Gary Luckman and Tim Daniel, this is a straight race to 10. Gary's going to quickly break and run this opening rack. One zero, Gary Luttman. You're back? Yeah, 10 10 race here, huh? An even one. Both very good players. I think they're really, I think they're within 10 points of the same Fargo, aren't they? I could see that. And Gary has a, you know, there, there's no flash to his game, at least from what I've seen. No, he, and he kind of, he jumps up a lot. Yeah. And he makes balls. I know he, uh, he won the BCA Masters. Uh, Division Did nine he? ball, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like two years ago. Yeah, he kind of lunges into the shot. Yeah, he does. It, it definitely. But it works for him. Yeah, if you lunge into it the same way each time. than he wanted, but I think he's fine. I think Gary lost to Junior, didn't he? Yeah, he lost to Junior Flores. Junior had junior a good tournament. Junior really good that. Yeah, Junior had a good tournament. Um, Ray three-fouled him at Hill Hill. Yeah. Junior was up on him like 5-1. Ray came back and won that. Ray's a great player. <laughs> And Gary's broken ran two now. What was the score in uh, Gary and Slavo's match? Um, Slavo was playing really good. Looks like 9 7. Oh, wow. Sometimes he acts weird like that. So you had like the ultimate tournament director job. What's that? So you had the ultimate tournament director job when you ran that tournament out here a couple months ago. What was that? The Asian Heritage thing. Oh, the Asian yeah, yeah Asian Culture Day tournament. Yeah, culture. Yeah, that was a that was an amazing event. Definitely, I can't wait for next year. How often Kenny did they come? Kenny put that thing together and uh, kind of somebody else that was supposed to do it and something happened and I got asked and I jumped at that chance. Yeah, they you know? didn't have it was, to ask it you was twice. amazing. No, it was uh, 
it was really cool. We had quite the field, women's and men's. Oh. Oh, now Tim, he jumped up on that one. He did. And, you know, he was outside. He went outside right after that loss. And then he walked in and said, Gary, let's go now. Well, he's flustered a yeah. bit. Well, and what's interesting is in his match prior to the high seat, he played Brian Long, and Brian Long was flustered because he was on the hill for like four racks. Oh, that nine ball yeah. when he scratched was yep. unbelievable. I had to replay that a couple times. I didn't see any way. There was no scratch on there. The ball was in the way. Yeah. He's got a little groove here. Is he calling the nine? <laughs> yep. Question is, is he going to carry me or is he going to come? Can't see how deep he is. Can you, can you try to cross bank it and carry it? Cross bank to the side? Guess you don't have to. Anything about that uh, Arizona and Nevada match going on? I heard it was like Hill Hill. No, I saw they were streaming it. Yeah, they were streaming it. Uh, where's it at? It's at Freezers, right? I'm, I'm sure it is. And they were streaming it, and it was 10 10, I heard. Does anybody out there know what happened with that match? We got a few people watching from back home. Somebody should know. Stay down on the ball, no right. movement but your arm, and then you watch a guy run racks like this. There's another guy, Ronnie Allen, that played in this tournament that yeah. does it. He's, does it a lot also. Great player, too. Uh-oh. Tim still doesn't look like he wants to be here. guys average for players for these events usually? You know, it depends. Um, early in the season, we get good numbers. And we've made tweaks season after season to the format to try to find what it is that's going to draw players. Um, maybe 64. I mean, you've been to Arizona. You know how it is. There's a lot of competition. <laughs> I was shocked there wasn't more Vegas players out here for this. Yeah, a lot of them were asking about it, but th wasn't there something at the Q Club? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what they had. They had something going on. Do you guys have a lot of the, those issues with? I mean, you've got well, really, there's the Q Club, there's there's here, there's, and there's pool there's sharks, there's Mickey's, there's putters, there's uh, good times. Oh, good times is what I was thinking. Of. But we, I try to not book on anybody. That's, uh, it's frustrating. It's everywhere. It, it's frustrating everywhere. You know, it's, it's frustrating at a, at a Vegas level, or at a Phoenix level. It's frustrating at a national level. 
I don't want to go so far as to say no one cares, but no one seems to care. Can you see that too or no? <laughs> We've got bar stools on both sides here, and the guy walks around the bar stools so we can walk through. And where Tim's head is at right now, anything's going to distract him. <laughs> Tim's still thinking about the last match. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's just amazing how, you know, it, it was one match ago that his opponent was doing that. Gary owned a room in St. Louis? Gary what? Did Gary own a room? You know, I'm not sure. I have to ask him that, I don't know. Yeah. You gonna hold this? Nobody answered, so I'm gonna look and see what I can find out. Yeah. Exactly the shot Tim wanted when he came back to the table, but at least he came back to the table. He's cutting this ball in. Mm -hmm. He's not even hitting the ball. Did you find it? And they're they're in the Hill Hill match. Oh wow! And it's two to four, but I don't know who's up. walk right through. Alright, scratched on the break. Tim's got to show some interest here though. I don't even see Tim in the room. <laughs> yeah. I think Tim has left the building. Well, now Gary's going to step away. Where did Tim go? Okay, now they're they're putting up rope now to keep people from walking through here. I'm willing to bet it won't work. Here he comes. Or he's got ball in hand here. Gary's letting him know. I didn't know the stanchions existed here, so. Yeah, it was him over there. Well, there's a couple more. I mean, you know how to do it. Oh, 
Doug just kind of helped me. I see him do that too. Or move him out of the way or do whatever. Tim, Jack Murray says Vegas was up 3 2. All right, thanks, Jack. How about Jack's an all right guy? Yeah, where is Jack? Jack, where are you at? That worked out all right. I'd like to see Tim put up some kind of a fight here. Well, he got a little frustrated with those people walking through, so that might light a fire in there. It's 4-1. Oh, Jack, okay, we understand. You'll go to Tucson for your mom, you won't go to Tucson for our finale. Huh, okay. Nice recovery. Well, you were missed, Jack. Take care of your mama. Always, for sure. Family comes first, brother. 4-2, Gary Luckman over Tim Daniel. He showed a little bit of interest there. Yeah, he did, he got fired up. Well, he, wins, he wins this next rack. We'll have a match. Well, it's a long race to 10, or a longer race. Yeah. That's what I love about this tour. There's no, you know, going to four or five. Oh, no. And bar box nine ball, we, you know, right. you can Winter burn break. through it pretty quick, yeah. Especially when you're Vilmos and you put a five pack on. <laughs> That match actually lasted a lot longer than I thought it was going to after the first five games. Oh, yeah. We made the nine. That's not going to count. How much of that one can he see? not really a good spot to push to either. One thing Gary does really well is bank. Oh, yeah? Yep. He loves to play banks. Oh, it looks like he's got an edge. Look out. Okay. What is he going to you got to play safe here. And the cue ball back around. One, two, three, four. Yep. Good shot. There it Speed. Is. That's the one right behind. Yep. Maybe Bill Stock? Bill McGavisk? No, because Bill's right commenting right above him. I know Bill Stock was watching earlier. on the two as you would think he would have with ball in hand. And he's got to do quite a bit to get on the three, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I do come down for a three. 
create combo? I think he has to. Just hold the three and don't leave yourself hooked. the speed that Ian was playing earlier. He just walked around the table like he knew what he was going to do before he even got to the shot. Getting more and more opportunities here. Easy. Okay, he's fine. Sure, Tim would like another match at Vilmos. Oh, popped up again. Didn't want to be on Did he? Did he jump up? Yeah. Just kind of lunged into it. Watch it. That could be a big rack. Yeah, that was a big Instead of four three, five two, that's halfway there. Yeah. And just he had a wide open rack and just couldn't do anything. How long have you been running tournaments? What's that? How long have you been running tournaments? Three years here in town. Three years. Not not the whole time here. No, no, we did, I didn't do them here until Griff's. When Griff's opened, that's when I started doing them just here. I used to do around town. Oh, okay. Do you run them just here now? Yes. Okay. This is kind of an For awkward For local rack. events, yeah. to the corner and back out. Oh, just one. Back and forth. Scroll up. He's going to be tough to beat. And the race will probably be the same no matter who plays Vilmos. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Look them up real fast here.
Yeah, they're two points apart in Fargo. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it'll be... Lutman's is 681, and Tim Daniels is 683. Made a ball. He's going to be hooked on the one. Or not. Looks like he's got an edge there. Yeah. He'll be able to make that ball. I think he can. Tim's had a ball in hand and was outside for a couple of minutes. Now he's on his phone. Hasn't even seen yet that Gary missed the one. I don't know if Gary said anything to him or was just going to wait. What's that? He said he doesn't look too excited. No. He's not. He had a good strut going when he was ahead on Bill Mosin. It's kind of like, it's a nice shot. Yeah, he walked over and said that he gave him just enough rope to hang himself. Do you know a safety here? think he could cut that ball. That's a heck of a cut. I thought he was playing a safe the whole way. Yeah. Boy, I don't like shots like this. He does. And it's a good thing that eight's there. Nice shot. Yeah, it was. And he really only needs a rack or two to, to have his mind back in the match. I don't think it's there yet, though. But how tough is it to to come back with your A game after something like that. Right. with Vilmus, Tim would be out here. Oh, George, you don't even want to know. It was, it was ugly. George, uh, Tim was running over Vilmus, and Vilmus made a comeback. It came down to Hill Hill. Tim missed a ball and left Vilmus hooked. Vilmus hit the ball, sold out a shot to Tim. Tim ran down to an eight ball, then he came up shy. I'm sorry, ran down to the nine and came up shy on it. Eight ball, yeah. It was eight the ball. eight. Yeah. 
little funny angle, but still something that he's supposed to make 99 times out of 100 and get shape. This was the one. He made the ball and scratched. He was up 5-1 on Vilmos. Yeah. 5-1. Yeah. to one. And just so running away with it. Right. And Vilmos needed 10, and Tim needed 2. And wasn't Vilmos... Was Vilmos on the hill before Tim was? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Because uh, Tim jumped up and shook his hand, remember, thinking that he lost. Right, it, right? yeah. And then Tim won the next game to make it Hill Hill. Yeah. Um, Vilmos couldn't do anything on the break, and then all of a sudden he could. And when he was making balls on the break, it was a whole different match. He was going to look like he was going to be all right there. The all-important break. Yep, Vilmos is in the hot seat. He doesn't take long to run a rack when he's in a groove. Gary Lutman, 7-4 lead. They're both going to 10. Loser takes third, the winner gets Vilmos. Made a ball, shot on the one. So three past the nine, yep. Yeah. Looks like it does. Even bumped the rail going in. What's that? See, even bumped the rail going in. Oh, yeah. Andy and George, the uh, the match is on the Facebook page. I'm sure you can see it there. If not, it'll be up on YouTube in a, a couple of days, along with all the others that we did. Gary's just running away with it. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. George. All the matches are on your Diamond Pool Tour Facebook page. I was watching them today. Oh, good. I was very much appreciating you guys having this while I was working 10 hours today. <laughs> well, you can go to YouTube and look up AZB TV, and you'll find a whole lot okay. more. One, 
Well, I don't want to see my match. I'll tell no? you that much. It was okay. bad. You weren't on the streaming I, table, I shot you? really good my first match, and then they told me I was on the stream table, and I just all of a sudden forgot how to play pool. Well, a I lot of people do that. I haven't been playing, though. What do you do when you're not running tournaments? Right now, I'm just working and uh, getting ready for a baby, actually. So. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. My wife and I were actually going to be fostering. Very cool. Yeah. It's exciting. Well, if you decide Especially you like... Especially at my age. <laughs> if you decide you like that whole foster child thing, I've got an 18-year-old and a 22-year-old. They're available two for one. I got a 19-year-old. So. Oh, then you know. Carrie okay, made quick work of that rack. <laughs> and as the nine goes in, Tim says, that's good. One shot. One shot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's just... It's eaten. destroyed him. Right. And it's eaten him. That's how quickly your, your whole tournament can change in one shot. Yeah. Now the guy you're playing can seem to do no wrong. Right. Tim was saying that he was he was hoping to make up because he he booked a loser Friday night and he was trying to make up for that. Yeah, yeah. He played Paul Juarez and I guess Paul actually uh, shot caught a gear and played really really well. I mean Paul's a great shooter, so yeah, I mean they're both great shooters. So I mean it was a coin toss. Yeah, until they started playing, Paul was just playing outstanding. Tim. It seemed like you, you had a hard time getting the speed of the table down. And he said he was a little frustrated with some of the details of the match, but... Oh, look at this. Ooh, nice. Wow, those laid out nice. <laughs> Tim's over there just giggling. What else can he do now? You know? He's going to give him the three ball out. Wow. Great tournament, Tim Daniel. TD. All right, that's 10-4, Gary Luttman over Tim Daniel. Uh, we will be back momentarily with the finals. Gary Luttman will probably be getting 11-7 from Vilmos 